Well, today Kenya joins the rest of the world in marking the World Tourism Day. And this year, it's all about all technologies. The light of the event is in Nakuru County. However, the Kenya remains one of Kenya's favorite tourism destinations with a vibrant beach and cultural traditions to offer. We're now joined by a coast-based reporter, Francis Mtalaki, for more on the activities of the coast to mark World Tourism Day. Francis. Well, Jesse Rogers, uh, this is one of the regions that is considered as uh, the backbone of tourism and the motherland of all in terms of tourism sector. And uh, many of the residents down here at the coast depend largely on tourism to be able to run their daily activities. And uh, looking at the broader perspective of East African market, many of the East African countries depend on tourism as their foreign earner. Uh, and also across Africa, countries like Mauritius ha depend largely on tourism. And this day, as you have said, that is being marked in Nakuru County for the World Tourism Day. Kenya is largely rep represented. But coming back here down on the coast, many of the tourists that have been visiting here because of the sandy beaches, and also some of the conferences that have been taking place here. Remember, later in October, we have that Cascal uh, Congress that is bringing all the stakeholders from the tourism sector fr fr from across the world that are coming. Could be, they're going to be converging here in Mombasa, trying to uh, dissect more about the tourism sector. But more importantly to, to us this day, I want to bring in my guest today, who is uh, the sales and marketing manager from Travelers Beach Hotel, Bona, uh, Wasa, so that we can be able to talk more about this day. Is there anything to celebrate about the World Tourism Day, and specifically Kenya and East Africa? Yes, a lot of, uh, a lot of things, a lot of milestones that we, at the moment, can celebrate. Uh, in the tourism industry and as a stakeholder in the, in the industry we are also having a lot to celebrate about one is uh, I think what we have done, the resilience of the, tour, uh, the uh, tourism industry in Kenya, knowing that we are coming from an electioneering period in uh, 2017 which again ended up uh, being a very positive one, we realized that now at that point uh, Kenyan's tourism shows resilience, a lot of resilience in uh, having developed you know all other periods in, uh, in election, we have had times when the, 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 there is a, slump, a slump in the numbers. But this last year we saw a, a, a very big uh, uh, difference is that the Uh, we, we look at uh, that one, if you look at it from a local perspective, from the last year, 3.5 million uh, bed nights, we had 4 point over bed nights uh, given to, allocated to the local tourism. So there is quite a lot to celebrate about. Of course, uh, this year's uh, celebration are coming at a time whereby Zanzibar seems to be leading in terms of tourism and the numbers. Many of the foreign tourists are preferring to go to Zanzibar. But when you look back seven years uh, down the line, maybe Kenya was leading and Mombasa was one of the areas that we would say, yes, uh, many of the tourists would come here as opposed to Zanzibar. What are you doing from the tourism sector to make sure that you come back to your position where you, you, you belonged seven years uh, back? Well, as, a, as an entity, we have uh, quite a, a number of things that we are doing to try and uh, bring back the glory. But okay, of course, you know, uh, competing at a national level rests purely on the central government and uh, the county governments. And uh, as such, the stakeholders, we've come together to try and uh, uh, put our weight behind the, 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 the Ministry of Tourism to try and push them to uh, be more proactive in uh, promoting Kenya and as a destination. And also, as a, as a stakeholder, we've come together under our umbrella, Kenya Association of Hotel Keepers, to try and see how best we can do to make it uh, a more palatable as a, a destination compared to Zanzibar. Of course, we know that one of the things that made uh, Kenya go back uh, uh, in its production was uh, insecurity issues to do security to in a uh, utility, uh, and of course, the economics uh, that surround this. We are hopeful that uh, with the current situation, with the handshake and of course with the restored uh, peace, uh, we are going to, to, to see an improvement. But again, I have to say that with a, a, a bit of a hesitation, uh, given that uh, just last week we had uh, the president ascending to the, economic, the finance bill, 
that has brought in a raft of other austerity measures. Uh, we are looking at a little if they are going to have uh, uh, effect on how they are going to 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 promote the the sector or going to is not going to affect us. Probably your last comment and briefly, there was a proposal by the East African Legislative Assembly in terms of having a single source destination for East Africa. How is this going to help the East African market in making sure that you grow the numbers? Well, uh, that's a, a good question because what, what we intend to earn to, to get from, uh, to gain from uh, that uh, single entity, single entry kind of visa is that we will now have uh, many people who going to maybe Rwanda to see the gorillas will have to come to package. We actually have one package that's going to focus on, uh, on East Africa. If somebody goes to see uh, gorillas in Rwanda, through Rwanda, he comes for safari or beach here and can go to do some cultural tourism in Uganda. So having that will not only uh, make, make available a, big, a bigger, more, more, uh, more, uh, more beautiful uh, package, uh, but also it will be more palatable to the market, the, the markets that, uh, that uh, exist. And then, of course, what you're also forgetting to mention here is uh, the issue of uh, an open sky policy that uh, the African Union also brought in. This is going to open the African continent, the Africans to visit and, uh, you know, uh, interact with us and probably bring in much more needed uh, 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 revenue. Thank you so much, Bwana Wafulawaso. Well, that was Wafulawaso, the sales and marketing manager from Travelers Beach Hotel, speaking to us in matters of tourism. And remember, today is World Tourism Day, a day that is being marked across the world. But in Kenya, the celebrations are ongoing in Nakuru County. Back to you, Jesse. Well, thank you, Francis Mtalaki, a coast-based reporter, informing us about um, some of the measures um, uh, tourism, um, uh, tourism sector members are actually taking to make sure that Kenya also is not left behind, even as the East Africa Legislative Assembly pushes for the East African region um, to be marketed as one tourism destination. Now, meanwhile, the Tourism Cabinet Secretary, Najib Balala, hosted a tourism stakeholders luncheon in the capital Nairobi. This is what he had to say during that event. Second, we need to invest heavily on product development. We cannot be too comfortable and say, oh, we have the beaches, or we have the safari, and we manage safari the same way we used to manage them in 1960s and 1970s. It doesn't take. We are managing our beaches and the beach hotels that we have are in the 1980s. It's not going to fly. So these are the things that we need to change. And the final one, which is key one, is visitor experience. If a visitor comes to Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and starts being frustrated from that point, even if you give them what at Masai Mara or Radisson Blue or at Kepinski, it wouldn't be an experience that without a dent. So, so these are the things that, that, that we need to, to change in Kenya. And I'm trying to push as much as we can, and I'm glad the industry is pushing. I can see Nairobi has picked up. Nairobi has done a lot of things on product development. New hotels have come in, and that is impro important. Next week, we are going to have an African Hotel Investment Forum for all the chains of hotels in the world that are going to be here. And that's a great uh, event we're going to have. But we want also investment to come out from Nairobi to go to Kisumu, as you Well, that is 